in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get Windows 11 25H2 early. Basically, how you can test it out right now after Microsoft just recently announced that Windows 11 25H2 is going to be the annual major release of Windows 11 somewhere in September or October this year. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two different methods that you can use to test out the latest Windows 11 preview build, which basically shows Windows 11 25H2. Of course, pay attention that this is a very early stage, so don't use these methods on your main computer because, of course, it being on the dev channel in the Windows Designer program, it is still pretty buggy. So let's begin with the video. First of all, the easiest method, in my opinion, would be to just upgrade to an insider program. And for that, you're going to have to open up the settings app. If you've never changed any settings in the settings app, you most likely have the main release, which is basically the main update of Windows 11. First of all, you have to make sure that you are connected with a Microsoft account on your computer, then go to Windows Update, and then go into the Windows Insider program. Now, where it says choose your insider settings, we're going to have to click on this and then we're going to have to set up basically your Windows Insider program if you've never set it up before. This is how it appears for you if you already are in the beta or in the release preview channel. But if you've never joined an, a Windows Insider program, of course, you're going to have to make sure that you are connected to a Microsoft account, then select the insider channel that you want, which is the dev channel because Windows 11 25H2 is only on the dev channel at the moment and then just accept the terms and restart your computer. More in-depth steps will be in the article below in the video's description for people that have never joined a Windows Insider program but I can tell you it is pretty easy. As I've said, make sure to not do this on your main computer because upgrading to the dev channel will mean that you will no longer be able to downgrade back to the release preview channel or to the main release. So you're going to be stuck on that. The only way to get out of it would be to do a complete reinstall. And after you restart your computer on the dev channel, of course, you're going to receive the latest build for the dev channel, which is a preview for Windows 11 25H2. And that is the build 26200.5 670 on the dev channel as I've said. Check my previous video if you want to see how that build it is looking before trying this out for yourself. A second method would be to get the ISO and do a clean install. I think I recommend this method better because even though it is a bit harder, I recommend it because you can take that ISO and test out Windows 11 45H2 on a virtual machine and you won't have any headaches or anything like that with bugs and errors. To get the official ISO, for example, you can use UEP dump, which will basically get it directly from the Windows Update servers and make sure you go into the latest dev channel build section, go to x64, make sure the build is 26200.5670, click on it, you can leave it as English, click on next, make sure you only select Windows Pro so it is a smaller ISO, click on next, and then don't change anything, just click on create the package, and then once you have the package, you can open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, and then you can extract it on your desktop, for example, but make sure to create a new folder, for example, Windows 11 25H2, select folder, click on Extract, and then you're going to have these files there. Now open up the folder, just go into UB Windows, right-click on it, Find as Administrator. Also, one thing that you have to make sure is that your folder doesn't have any spaces in its name because this is the only way you're going to be able to get the ISO. So I'm doing this change right now. Just open up the folder again, right click on the Windows section, run as administrator, and then out here type R to run this and then just wait out a few minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes before you're going to get the ISO directly into this folder. So of course, this is the way that you can test out Windows 11 24H2 earlier. As I've said, make sure that the build you're getting is 26200.5670. This is the only 
only way that you're going to be able to test out Windows 11 25 H2. And for more information about Windows 11 25 H2, check out the video in the description because that is the previous video that I've done about the first build for Windows 11 25 H2 where it also was confirmed by Microsoft. So I think that is pretty nice. Don't forget that in the article below, we're going to have a lot more information about all of these steps, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything that I've showed you in this video. And also, if you have additional questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below.